Welcome. Hello and welcome. Yep, this is Revved Up and oh, ooh, uh, actually Redline News to change their name. I'm JDM, GCG sitting right next yes. to me. Yes, I'm right here. And um, let's get on with the news. Okay, first up, we'll be talking about Detroit. This is a memo from Jay Leno, the talk show host with the oversized chin. Yes. Anyway, he, he, no to Detroit. This is what he says. Build a better economy car because, you know. Build what, a better car. It doesn't have to be an economy car. It can be any car. Just build a car. <laughs> Things coming from those Toyohis and Hermes. <laughs> and um, the European cars as well. Um, yes. Anyway, anyway, the thing is. He he says that there's no really need to no real need to improve the Corvette because it has its own niche so to speak. Yeah. But you know cars like the, Co- the Viper, like like really Derek needs an update. Like Derek D's. We meant like Derek D's Cobalt. He you know gotta replace that. Sorry. Yeah. It's just not good. And so yes, anyway, done. moving on to GC. Speaking of cheaply made cars, GCG and a Tata. Yes, Tata. No, no. Tata makes wants to make ten dollar airbag. So well, they're contracting a company to make ten dollar airbags. Now, how Tata are you supposed to do that? The CO two cartridge itself is probably four dollars. The bags, what? No, the, no, no, that's and not. they need a deployment system. Well, no. actually, that's the CO two. The deployment system will be cheap, but here's the thing: the activation system. No, you know what I hear about the airbags? They're, they're going, going to be, be they're going to be used supermarket bags for lawns. Yes, or actually, for, no, they're going to be rice bags from the rice fields. Ah, so no. anyway, and the other good news though is there's going to be a power hike for the DB9 and the V8 Vantage. Uh, the DB9 will go up from 450 to 470, so 20 horsepower power hike for the DB9. The V8 Vantage, now this, moving up, 380 to 420. So I guess they're going to give it some uh, direct flow injectors, right? I don't know what they're doing, but here's the thing, okay? I think that will give them and it'll probably get better gas mileage. It'll suck. Yeah, yeah, it will. will. It, it will. Anyway, it's it'll give. Time. Think about this car. So I think it'll really give the R8 a run for its money. Yeah, and, and I think possibly even the Porsche, possibly even the GT3. But here's the thing: the Aston is prettier than both. I'd say so. Oh, not the not over the Porsche. The R8 just looks soulless somehow. Oh, come on! It needs on. some some look of something in its eyes. Like it's just it's so blank. You know, like a, admit a that clone. It, admit that it is a good car, though. It's a good car. Okay. Now. Honda will be uh, sold 3.5 liter V8 engine supplier for five years for IndyCar. Honda, cut out this beep. Let it go back to a multi-car series. That's not what the sport is about. It's about the cars and the drivers rather than just the drivers. And most of them don't even do any driving because all they do is they turn Easy. left. Okay. And the only time they have to turn right, literally... Is if they're trying to pass a car or, high side or, or road if they're circuits. doing in the pit. Yeah, they don't. They have a few road circuits, apparently. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Marco Andretti next year. Right. And um, next, moving on to the to the boys, to be civic, the TG boys. Proud says the same introduction you had for them last time. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. You need to change it. Yeah. Anyway, about referring to the boys, they they may be back June 22nd because the site that distributes their tickets, AppauseStore.com. Distributes, that, mind you. That you don't have to buy. Ever don't ever buy a top tier ticket. Yes. And they're contacting folks for you know people who are buying tickets. Or I mean um getting the tickets. They're saying to go for filming a few days before the twenty second, which is a Sunday, which is should be And one. generally they film, I don't know. Wednesday. Yeah, and then they televise it on Friday, right? And no, Sunday. And lastly, here's some bad news, okay? In America, you know, even though we're in a car slump now, it's expected to um, go up next year as people get more used to paying the high price for gas. What do you mean the high price for gas? You should live in Europe or Britain. Well, not the high price of gas, but I'm saying the elevator. Yes. Um, anyway, elevator price. In Japan, it will. It may never go back to where it was ten years ago, or even now, because. In Japan, there's this thing that the Japanese refer to as kuruma banare, which means demotorization. That's code word for the, the sales slump may never rebound because the Japan youth ne- don't like cars anymore like they used to. Instead, they're interested in buying iPhones, 
playstations, and computers, and giant bicycles, I hope, because otherwise they're not going to have a way to get around except for the subway. The subway's okay in Tokyo, actually. The Tokyo subway's good, actually, but most of the computers don't want to do it. Uh, um, we got the best transportation system in the world. Yeah, the subway stop every block. Japan's system's very efficient, though. No, I think it's very good. What percent, oh, uh, what percent on time is it? 100% practically. Yep, same with Japan. Really? Yep, <laughs> same. Um, they were actually never late. Yep, same with Japan. Only time we were late is someone threw a cocktail on a track. So and, the, and it has all the little time estimates displayed on a little screen. The thing about the Japanese is they apologize for being twenty seconds late. Yes, mind you, it was a it wasn't a real cocktail. It was just a fake. Someone made the Coke bottle. <laughs> all right, now which would you rather? Have? Uh, we're gonna do a very quick. Which would you rather have? Okay. Okay, um, Lexus, okay. Okay, this is the new gens of well-known cars. New 998, which should be coming out sometime, will have an extra 20 to 40 horsepower, slight facelift, you know, some minor... Um, the usual things. Porsche deal. Yeah, very subtle, kind of like the early 996 to later 996 update, similar to that. The new Aston, well, what's another new car? Um, Why don't we just pick up the Aston and the Jones? How's about the Audi, R8? They're, they'll have an updated Audi R8? Uh, the V12 one. Oh, yes. No, I'm sorry. The V8 diesel. Oh, V8 diesel. That's so good. No, it will be because that's 738 pound feet of torque. Oh, good point. I forgot. 738. Which will give it a 0 to 60 ton of what? Sometime in the threes. Yeah. That's impressive. So your choices are the new 998 GT4. No, they won't. They stopped making the GT3. I forgot to tell you that a while ago. Uh, how about the, the new 998 Turbo? Because the Turbo will get an update. Uh, how's about the 998 GT3? Because they won't be making the GT3. Why not? Because they're finished making it. Not forever, but they stopped making it for the 997 series. Now, next year, they might. They, I think they have to make a homologation model for next year. Are they going to make the 998 GT3? Next year. Uh, they so will? Yeah. Okay, Probably, so this is 09, 010. Okay, the coming up <coughs> 998 GT3. Uh, my first choice would be the R8 because it's a diesel, it's a novelty, it's new, it's torquey, it's, it's interesting. So that would be my first choice. Second choice would probably be the Porsche because it's the performance model. And finally, the Aston. The, Not too far behind. The, the Aston, which is very close behind the Porsche because... Granted, it's got the look, but it's just not performance oriented. The Aston can't make up its mind whether it wants to be a GT car or a true sports car or like the R8. Yeah. yeah, it just doesn't. I mean, the DB9 and the DBS are set in their mission, if you know what I mean. Both try to be, but try to be smooth. Sports rather, cars just draw a little more refined, kind they, of like a sporty Bentley when you think about it. Yeah, a lot better than one too. My yeah. yeah. GT3, simply because it's going to be the fastest down the track, no matter how much torque that Audi has. Audi can escape the corner stop. That's true, but the Porsche goes into the corner stop. Faster. Yeah, because it doesn't have as much understeer. And it probably goes mid-corner a little quicker, too. Audi likes to go sideways, though, sometimes. Yeah, but, but the Porsche likes to really... And the Audi out. looks like a blank clone from... What's that movie? Or something, something. It's that futuristic music, no, not Star Wars, but with all these clones running around. Anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? Then I would go for the Maserati, I uh, mean, the uh, Aston. Aston, simply because uh, it's an Aston, I can resell it and buy something that I like better. Um, and then I would go not too far behind the Audi if it got maybe some sort of Audi update, because those eyes are so blank, they need a, something different sometimes. But the LED. So what? So are Porsche. The new 998 series lights. Mm -hmm. LED too. Or the, uh, anyway. Addition is Xenon. Anyway, we're pushing 10 minutes, so now it is time to end. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, this is Redline U. We'll be back to on Wednesday. And stay tuned for the best wrestler movie ever on Thursday. Something oh. which will rival the creations of Friday Night 7. Oh. And on Wednesday, we'll have the five best F1 drivers of all time and the five best cars of the 50s. Yes. Till then, that's part of our five best.